some specialists here who have worked in ESL, EFL for a number of years, and we just wanted to share with you our thought process when we do lesson planning. So guys, um, when you do lesson planning, where do you start? The most important thing for me is just to start with the students. Yes, of course, we have to have a bigger picture in mind. We have to think about the syllabus or program goals, outcomes, determined either by the school we work at or by the Ministry of Education. But it boils down to the students. Uh, I would call it student-centered lesson planning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, who, who, who they are, uh, how old they are, um, what their interests are, what their education background um, is, um, why they, what they are studying English, mm -hmm. what they want to achieve. What do you do when you're thinking about a lesson plan in terms of formulating the learning objectives for the lesson? Well, I always think about um, you know, thinking in terms of the objective for the lesson, what are some of the challenges that students may encounter in trying to reach the objectives during the lesson? Mm -hmm. And that's, um, first of all, having really gone through and thought, yes, this is an objective that an objective that could be achieved in the time that I have for the lesson, whether it's 50 minutes or an hour. But I do think of, you know, what are some language uh, challenges that students may encounter? How can I scaffold activities to help them overcome those challenges. Um, not only language, language challenges, but there might be cultural aspects that my students may not be familiar with that may pose a challenge to reaching an objective. There might be issues with, uh, let's say, that I need to address with prior knowledge, and, uh, what they already know, what you know, they bring to the classroom or to this particular lesson. And so I think a lot about that and how to um, plan a lesson that will help many of these students, or some of these students, actually overcome these, these challenges. I'm thinking of one lesson plan. Um, after I've, again, kind of considered what my students are, where they are in the term, then I want to think about where do I want to be by the end of the class? What do I want them to be a little more proficient at? What do I want them to be a little more accurate at, a little more fluent at? And then I construct my lessons kind of backwards. So I think about my end activity, usually some sort of communicative practice activity where they have a chance to really use the language as, as much as they know of it with hopefully that target language in mind. And then I build backwards. So I'll start from that communicative task that comes at the end. I think of a couple practice activities, hopefully that'll be in pairs or small groups that will feed into that. And then I think back to what is my input going to look like. Mm -hmm. And I'm not thinking input is in me telling the students what this target language is. I'm thinking of how am I going to draw that out from them? What sort of maybe authentic text can I show them that we analyze to bring that target language out of? But that's how I'm, I'm scaffolding my, my lesson to meet those objectives. And my, so my objectives end up being, we've heard the acronym SMART, or even SMARTER, but specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, time-bound, and some people throw in adjustable.